So they'll be calling you a radical, so. Oh. Even if you go off Noah's numbers, which are padded, we've got in just two, maybe three years, a 25 to 28% collapse in the entire gray whale population, which in reality, we go a 10 year period, we're over half collapse way over half and let's go tide pools 99% collapse let's go salmon 95% collapse let's go fucking fires and fucking trees you know COVID-19 from the sea so before I talk about this the UN has banned all nuclear weapons and you know I've been asked in multiple interviews in DC when I was there this year I got a lot of good interviews up most of them of course foreign and I want to say, when they're going to arrest Trump, you listen to him swear in. Now, you all watched it. By the way, how good was Lady Gaga? All we hear is Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. That's how she got, he named herself. And, you know, that's Queen, Queen, bow to the Queen. I <laughs> uh, love the dress, too. Fuck, how about the folding paper crane, the whooping crane? What a piece of art that was. <laughs> wow. So, Sabio Espanol. But, the UN, and I did interview, well, what do you want, Kevin? I want a 100% worldwide ban on nuclear energy. So, this is important. The worldwide ban on all nuclear weapons. This makes against the law to possess them, makes against the law to plant. Goes in effect tonight at midnight Vienna, Austria time. Now you know they're eight hours ahead of us here, so it's coming up just a few hours. But as we know, the usual suspects, Tsar Putin! Fuck, that's not a fucking... <laughs> that's a Tsar. Please, he's next. As the Fucking imperialists fucking come tumbling down. They tried to place a new emperor. Anti Yoko Neo Dada is. Um, Abby wanted to be the next Yoko Ono's, you know, uncle. Harry Ito was her uncle. The current emperor is her first cousin. Linda Epstein. This is the power. Somebody left a comment to me. That's Linda Eastman Kodak. Now, stay with me. This is important, and then we'll get into this worldwide ban. Because this stuff was being debated in a big, big way, then John Lennon blown away. What else? He was an anti-nuclear. He was an anti-nuclear energy guy. You know, and then, let it be, let it be. Let it, Mother Mary, she came to me. That's about Sir, Sir Paul. It's just like Dutch Sense and all these different people all over the Internet. They went to him and says, Hey, back off. Tell them you're taking off Fukushima. They gave him the fake. Remember when he was going around? Where did he get that? He had radiation in a thing. Sort of connecting dots up there. And they had it. Who gave him that? That's illegal to possess. And they had it. And then he comes out and says that, oh, Fukushima was a They all said Fukushima was a hoax. And everybody said Fukushima was a hoax. Look at their YouTube site. Froop! Look at mine. Froop! Uh, Dana said it best last night. He says, I could be rapping shit on a stick as long as I've been at it and had, you know, 60,000 fucking years on my live stream. I have 32. Well, you got 33. The 33rd soup can, Kevin D. So, the ban, she says, now this is historic and important. In... Upstate New York, status King Cuomo, bank ballot on chemo. Three times three is Nine Mile Island. They gave him, you know, the nuclear. She says, my dad worked there at the, you know, at the university. They have a reactor there, the Eastman Kodak building. And they used to just dump it into the Hudson. Now, I tried to tell, I worked with Kyle Madsen. I taught for Kyle Madsen. When we took over the MBA program at Weaver State, when... Dr. Cooley tragically died. Kyle was a non-smoker, got lung cancer very young, and just and I took Kyle. You taught at the University of Syracuse. It's a 
nuclear death zone. It's a death hell. They dump nuclear waste all over that university. And, you know, people need to know this. His wife, right after, another non-smoker, actually a respiratory nurse, she died. So, and of course it doesn't get reported. HIPAA laws, you know, HIPAA laws were not passed to protect patients. HIPAA laws were protect, passed to protect environmental toxic poison. So people like me can't get the real counts on, we don't count dead typos or Kevin Welch's. We don't count dead humans in bone marrow transplant units. Well, guess what? Kevin was one of them, so I know. So, Linda's real last name is Eastman, Jeffrey's first cousin. And, you know, nobody will connect these. Los Alamos emerged from the Manhattan Project. All roads lead there. All power leads there. Simply, simply, you could fix everything. Economic science fiction, economics, and Rand Greenspan. Pandemic rages across America. Freaking civil war. Trump never started a war, no, just a race war. Fucking debt reading out of control. Homeless situation off the fucking hook. Fucking attempted fucking coup. Stock market makes all-time highs. Just think about that. Runaway inflation. Runaway fucking debt. Don't drink the water, third world America. It's stock market just... And I want to say this, too. This is important. Everybody, and there's people, and I know there's some of you that are still watching that I may turn into multi-multi-millionaires by talking to you into buying Tesla in 2011. I begged you. People came to me. I said, get out of your silver and gold. Get off that and buy Tesla, buy Tesla, buy Tesla. A lot of people do it because I've gotten, I got an email recently and the guy says, well, you changed our whole world, me and my dad, my grandpa. You turned us into multi-million. Could you at least buy me a fucking car? I would have never done it without you. I mean, you know how much fucking, man? this is the fucking sickening, arrogant greed of Americana. Could you at least buy me a new car? I mean, fuck you made millions. This woman says, yeah, Kevin, I got cancer. I'm getting ready to pass. And so my whole will and structure, I advised my son. She says, I followed your finances, your marine biology work, your ocean, your Fukushima for years. You, you know, you did so much for me. I left you two and a half million dollars. I told him to mail it to you. That's an email I have. Did I ever get it? Nope. This is the fucking greed of the baby boomers when their parents fucking buy. By, by the way, I'm against inherited wealth. I think it's disgusting. I think it's sickening. You know, and billionaires, bam, make it illegal. Fuck, you seen what their kids turn into? Or their grandkids? So, back to let it be, let it be. If you're going to have a revolution, you can count me out. He's still alive, sir, sir, sir. They bow. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Nuclear energy is the root of all fucking evil. Epstein Islands, no coincidence, is it Los Alamos? You know, that's where the power there be. Because of a bill called Price Anderson, 1957, it's called the Immunity Act. You can't sue them. I remember Bechtel being on the Hill when I was, I spoke, I wrote some uh, ops, I was supposed to speak on the Hill clear back then on Savannah River, the Mox Fuel Fairy Tale, which was a lie, Riva, Chicago Bridge and Iron, Western Hall, all the bankrupt usual suspects who never wrote, go bankrupt. They just screw their shareholders. Started at $455 million. it's a $29 billion. The end of the Obama, Barry Antoinette, let them eat yellow cake, goes in and investigates. They build the United States government for 78% completion. They conclude that it's 28% concluded. Bill of 29 billion. Can you do math? They just stole it. The head of Bechtel was paid to put, he living in La Jolla, was paid to put triple layers at Hanford around the pools. Why didn't you do it? Well, we just didn't. What did you do with the money? We hired PR firms to attack anti-nuclear acts. I have been fighting PR firms in every way. Why do you think the whole stick, flipping the candy on my back, everything? And this is important for the Biden regime. The one thing that Trump did that hurt us fucking harder than anything. Trump killed net neutrality. Liz Warren says it best. Put net neutrality back. Used to Google Fukushima 
nine of the ten on the sidebar. And unless you make the sidebar, no one will ever find you. You would get Kevin Lynch. Santa Claus, ten for ten. I mean, tons of subject matter. I knew what I was doing. I knew exactly what I was doing. It was based on retention. And I still have that retention to this day. But they killed net neutrality, pay to play. So the NEI, which is the trade group for the nuclear energy, which is funded by the United States Department of Energy, which is the United States Department of fucking nuclear kill you, they pay to play. You know, just think the fact that I get an email and a phone call from the Army Corps engineer saying that I've been classified. Barbara Boxers, when she was head of the committee, staffer told me, you've been classified. I've been told this multiple... Kevin, my personal, why I'm in critical condition, fight? because the PR firms hold all the power. They attack me. They slander me. You know, this isn't just Dots and these other lunatics. They had fucking people in Los Angeles firms. Do you remember the pretty butterfly reactor that had green butterflies? Do you know who that is? Woody Allen's best friend. Do you know about West 10? Not to be confused with LDS East State. Do you know about West 10? The leukemia unit at the top of L at UCLA. Do you know, he's the guy, that, the doctor of the room, they paid him millions of dollars to start that PR fucking firm, and it worked, and come out and says, oh, no, 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 it was all on Santa Susana. You know about Rocket 9? Fucking Boeing's PR fucking gig? Do you know about that? Well, Kim Kardashian made a statement, fucking girls, 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 his little girl, 11 years old, dies, he sued him. You know? The Motley Crew. <laughs> Stevie Nicks, you see my gypsy, I'm going back to the Velvet Underground. I never left. She wrote that about her youth, but she donated it because her friend, best friend, Robin Anderson, was with child down the stretch they come at Arcadia High School. She got pregnant with, and she got full of leukemia. They had to take the baby early, and Stevie actually took the baby, and she knew it was Santa Susanna, Rockadine. You know, John Sutton just went. I mean, anybody that's in Los Angeles, it's a fucking toxic hell. Just like the University of Syracuse. It's a toxic fucking hellhole. Fucking rookie. I, she emails says, leaves a comment. Beautiful. This is my dad, you know. I've known that fucking River Watchers. Fuck those fuckers. Bobby Kennedy Jr. Me and him had a long conversation about this. I mean, my fucking activism is deep and it goes forever, but block me. I mean, because it, I, this has turned into a research PhD, which it always has been. Click, so you got to dig through it to find me because net neutrality, Donald J. fucking Porky Nuclear Pig Trump. And I never voted for sliding with Biden. I voted for Bernie Sanders. By the way, Bernie, love the gloves. Love those fucking gloves. I'm a big recycle guy. Well, I'm a big, I just don't buy anything new. I buy everything retro uh, for decades. I need a new fucking car so I can get to fuck California. Well, I guess I'll just, I don't know, do the usual flight on Dead Well Watch. So, UN has banned in just a few hours here. It makes it illegal. The usual suspects. The Queen. Now, we call Canada. This is important. Dana, you're Canadian. The UN, which I do so much work in Vienna. I mean, I'm famous over there with the Blanche Box. I mean, Everybody knows me because they have to go through me, you know, including the head of the IAEA who overtook. The IAEA is corrupt as fuck. We call Canada the Great Weasel Nation. Why? Because they say we're against nuclear weapons, yet they have nuclear energy reactors, yet they have fucking uranium fucking mines, yet they have... Do you know about centrifuge and MOX fucking facilities? Fucking... People don't even know that they centrifuge the uranium. Fucking... I mean, what a nightmare hellhole that is. Illinois, one of them caught on fire. I mean, it's a toxic hell we live in. So it goes in effect, but the usual suspects, Canada, you know, the Queen still fucking owns fucking Australia. Canada say, oh, no, that's old. No, it's not. You know, Teddy Roosevelt, after he fucking kicked the Spaniards out of Cuba, you know, Fidel Castro set up shop at NYU. That's an irony because that's, you know, Washington Square's where all the revolutions are born. Hamilton on Balco. He says, let's invade Canada. I'm going to go liberate Canada from the Queen. You don't learn about this one, do you? Presidential attempted coups. The Queen floated up the Potomac, burnt down that White House in 1812. June 6, 2021. She wound up her useful idiots, as usual, intact. She wound up a useful idiot and killed the President of the United States. Thus, Teddy became President.
Hmm, wasn't that McKinley? Let's change the name of the mountain. Huh. McKinley told him no. And the queen, yeah, I think if he came back in time, he would have said, you and your artist friends, poets, laureate. By the way, the young poet, 22, loved it. I put up my poem yesterday, you know, very simple, very emotional. We are, we are. Somebody says, you're getting the fax. I've got it. I'm eligible. I told the doctor just like this. I told him that yesterday. I'm too fucking young and strong. Let the weak, let the vulnerable get it first. Let the elderly. You ain't young. I says, oh, the fuck I am. I'm not. I've been born again. Not by these phony fucking evangelicals. American manufacturer. G Jesus Wars! Fuck, there's about 40 different fucking brands of him here. Fucking up is down, black is white. Fucking American manufactured Jesus. Fucking hate thy neighbor, covet thy neighbor's Walmart. Worship the Mormon's fucking golden calf. Oh, God, make you fucking puke. No, I was born again when I came out of that bone marrow transplant unit. And this is important. Now listen, get this piece recorded. Not your father's chemo. My Both my doctors are anti-nukers. Vincent's brother and father both died of thyroid cancer. And I've known him since I was a child. The type of cancer I have, that they wouldn't even give a chance. He says, I've known you. You're a fighter. You know, we'll take you. We're going to put you in. And I, you know, I threw down my stock portfolio, my Tesla stock. I says, don't fuck with me, Vincent. You're fucking, everybody's fucking with me. I, I'm not insured, but I got money. No, 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 Kevin. I don't care. I've known you since you was a child. You know, you're going in. There's a guy... You're going to LDSD State. That fucking shithole? It's not a shithole. I says, he says it's under construction. I says it's been under construction since I was a fucking kid up on the hill. There's a guy from Denmark there. By the way, the Iron Navy, he fucking treated Annika and my fucking dad. That's how long he's been at it. They both passed away. At what he calls the luxury good of death. The Huntsman, chemical, chemical, give you cancer, then extort every dime you have. By the way, who's still suing me to this day for a phone call when I had AML leukemia for a phone call for $1,500. Of course, McQuackney is suing me. They're calling me when I'm in their hospital. They caused because they misdiagnosed me forever and ever told me to fucking, oh God, don't even get me going. So did Ogden Regional. Michael Hawkins told me to go see my dentist. My heart's failing. But Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid fucking the day before I was supposed to have. That's attempted murder. Why well, I'm in a unit after I fucked over a million dollars. <laughs> Attack the vulnerable. That's what these Christians do. In the name of Jesus, the false prophets have the field. I had a new experimental because a guy named Brian Morris, they've done it before on him. I have ML de Nuvo, which presents in tumors, which is almost always a death sentence. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the same... I remember Fimbo coming in my room and I says, I can feel it in my lymphoid on my right side. This is after I'm under the chemo, which is probably a death sentence. He reached up there and he's, you could see in his face. So I don't know what he did, but he tweaked the juice. Come in a few days later and he's like, fuck, it's gone. I says, I don't know what you did, but you was fucking good. Whatever you fucking. I had a experimental. It's not your father's. When they use or chemo and say radiation, I'm they're pulling back more from radiation use all the time. Now I've got four tattoos of me. Dr. Thompson radiated me. He, I was his very last patient before he fucking retired. And I said, the only way I'll do it, and you know, we want very, very light on those tumors that were up in you. And I said, only if he does it. And he did it. Oh, thanks, Craig, for this at the Peace Vigil. I love this thing. Very light. I had a mushroom root. We know that mushrooms are fucking, oh, those, they're a whole different freaking gig. So I had mushroom fucking chemo. That's what I had. Now we know. I only had three rounds. I one or five. I just wasn't recovering. Thank God we knocked it off at three. Because we're finding out now that the mushroom root is destroying all the organs. Now my Eric Valve, which I was born with a heart murmur from my nuke to death radiated father in the Nevada test site, Air Blast 1. He was in Air Blast 1 in a cage, the first group. They got nothing. They got no benefits. They got dead. And this is important too because... They staged the troops when they went into 
went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban, went off to Iraq to get a big old axe, not a war, that's a fucking colonialist fucking occupation for the queen, fucking using our military. They staged him at the Polygon. What's the Polygon? That's the fucking K2, that's the old Soviet Union nuclear weapons test facility. It's even more toxic than the Nevada test site. When we turned that into a museum, we turned Hanford into a museum. Think about that. Go come, kid. Come on, kiddies. Come kill yourselves. Rocket nine. Fucking Boeing. Fucking hire PR firms to attack fucking nu anti nuclear activists. Why they're on critical condition felonies and all that. But the nuclear energy crime syndicate, aka the Untouchables. For I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Fuck them. Off to hell. <laughs> so I had RCM squared with the brilliant. Fimble Peterson who overrode everybody. You know, when they biopsied it, the pathologist put it in the wrong thing. Thank God Vincent overrode him. They went through, they sent it out to hundreds and hundreds of labs. They've got a hit at the University of Nebraska, that fucking dirtbag, fucking Warren Buffett who took over our school business, the water school business, the nuclear school business at Weber State, which everybody dies of cancer in there. I wonder why when it's named Wattis. They got a hit in Nebraska. Sure shit, it was Amel de Nuvo, just like Vincent had hypothesized. They all had it wrong. He didn't. Thimbo from Copenhagen didn't. They had it right, and he overrode them all. The Spanish flu came from Nebraska, Kansas, the feedlot. COVID-19 came from the sea. It's ravishing this fucking country. And you're going to vax up and it's going to go away and we're just going to get another one. Because you never handled the fucking disaster of Fukushima. You just fucking continue to cover it up. The ping pong game. I hate Obama and Trump. I mean, I hated Bush because that's why I mean he fucking bad. But we've had 20 years of hell. I'm going to party like it's 1999. You know, we'll see how this goes forward. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so, Joe. Don't say it ain't so. Don't tell me you're on their fucking team. Say it. Say it. Say the fucking F word. Fukushima. It killed. The nuclear energy killed Bo Biden. That's depleted uranium. White phosphorus is depleted uranium. Just like when they staged the troops in Afghanistan. The United States military knew. I think it's irony, Liz. I love you, Liz. You know, I dated Liz's niece for a fucking long time, Tanya. And that girl was hot. And I mean crazy. And I, you want to talk one fucking Freudian fucking relationship. Whoa! Whoa, down the stretch they come. My God, that girl, but fuck. That one was way too hot to handle. You know, like nuclear waste. Fucking Glenn Beck ideologue fucking, but Liz stood up. Liz was born in Madison, by the way. I'm so fucking proud of her. I can't say enough about her standing up because that's exactly what she said word for word. <laughs> Trump attempted a coup. He's still talking. He didn't use Biden's name in his league and won the next administration, he says. He's, that's dog whistle code. He never said Fukushima once. Abby's dying of cancer. Putin will fall. Lip by the sword, die by the... You know when FDR fucking died. You know, they love to poison people. Stalin says, what did Churchill use to poison him? Stalin was poisoned to death. That's what they do over there. <laughs> TikTok, Vladimir. Fucking the billionaire czar. He's painted himself into a fucking corner. How many people fucking adversaries can he kill till fucking they fight back? So here in the United States, you listen to him with their hand on the Bible. I swear to defend the United States Constitution against all foreign and domestic foes, or coups, terrorists, insurgents. There, I like Mike Mountain Meadow Massacre Lee and Ted Lee Harvey fucking not born in the United States fucking Cruz. Say they're constitutionalists, okay? There's nothing more constitutional than this. Nothing. Nothing. By the way, get it Congress, that's one thing. You know, they have full subpoena power. Subpoena me. I was due to speak on the Hill on Fukushima in 2013 when I came out. I was due. 
They pushed it into the underground. You want to fucking the Unpatriot Act? A Republic with a Constitution. Well, the Patriot Act is illegal. It's supposed to be temporary. And Barry Antoinette, Obama could a pocket beat it. What's a pocket beat it? Just do nothing. Trump perpetuated the fucking lie. Rich got richer. Poor got poor. Fox News on the phone on the air. But, well, you didn't pardon my ex-husband. You didn't pardon my ex-husband. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to turn on you on Fox News. I told you, Veruca Salt and my TV had a fucking mail. All he does is watch Fox News. Oh, 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 sorry. Last second pardon. Fox News ex-husband. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> One of Digest Stream, two of by cable TV. I remember when Fox News rolled in here. We're all having a fit. They paid a billion dollars to fuck buy up the baseball contract to not show baseball. Billionaire baseball player. Uh, where's Tony Gwynn? Oh, Tony got sick the same time I did from Fukushima and some radio roundup, and it killed him. He went to the luxury scripts. Right, I grew up in fucking here in La Jolla. That's where I grew up. I grew up here in Utah and right there. You know, on scripts, the luxury good of death. By the way, that is Brownie Jepson's scripts. Yeah, here. I could write a whole book on that. Fucking, there was a racetrack at Pacific Beach. White Earps horses? Well, my bloodline, James fucking Hunsaker, the first, he was his lawyer. You know, the statue at Old Town. Hunsaker Avenue. Yeah, that's me. The fucking, yeah. Abe the Force, my grandfather. Yeah, that's them at PB. Down the street. Did you know the Mormons owned a racetrack at Lagoon, Utah? And they fucking bring me on race horses. It was called the Biafka. Johnny Longman broke his maiden here before the self-righteous come out and says, Oh, no gambling! Just do it online. Fucking the self-righteous took the field, the Puritans. <laughs> oh, fuck. What a lot of freaks. So, nuclear weapons. Banned. The United States. London Liz. UK! Australia, Canada, and of course Israel. <laughs> Nuke them, Dano. They're going to thumb their nose at the world? Well, this is the first time you say, oh, this is big. No, 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 no. They finally got it. Because the United States has always put economic sanctions on. Oh, you vote for this, we will put economic sanctions. United, the Atlantic Conference is what it was called. The UN. That was Franklin Roosevelt before he dropped dead on, in April. He would have never dropped those bombs. That was Truman, Truman, Truman. Nobody's ported out more nuclear ports since Truman till fucking Truman, Truman, Truman. Oompa loompa doopity do. What do you do when you got a fucking lunatic like fucking Trump in the White House going crazy? You vote the motherfucker out. There's 13 swing voters in this country because it's a football game. Cowboys versus Redskins, yay! The only people that never showed up in history to the inauguration thing, Andrew Jackson. You know, he's they're still digging up his body fucking once every three years. They poisoned him with a bowl of cherries. And the two fucking Adams boys. Ugh, talk about psychos. They wanted a monarchy. They both wanted a monarchy. They didn't show up. They were pissed. They wanted to stay in power as a monarchy. Now we got Trump. You vote him fucking out. He fucking voted himself out. He incited the fucking black voter in Philadelphia, in Detroit. Devil went down to Georgia to look for some souls of steel. He was way behind. Didn't work, did it? So, Johnny, he rosined up that bow and he played that fiddle hard. I'll take that bet and you're going to fucking regret. Because I'm the best there ever was. So, they're banned. Economic sanctions don't work anymore, do they? Why? Because they're like, fuck you, you broke-ass, fucking toxic third-world country. Go fuck yourself. You want to borrow some money? So they're banned. So it's a big deal. Stand tuned. We'll see how long the American fucking toxic thumbs their nose at the fucking world. But this poor debtor nation, you know, we're not the power anymore. We're a hellhole. Thank you to nuclear energy, 75 years of it. Don't drink the fucking water! Stay in tune.